So I just watched The Challengers and um, the best way I can describe it, especially towards uh, cinema fans, is it's basically what if Brian De Palma directed a uh, tennis movie and that's basically what I got. A movie about three people having a three-way at the end. <laughs> now that might sound like a joke, but I'm like, it's it's a really great movie about f both ambition and failed ambition. <clears throat> like you see in the trailers, it's about this aspiring tennis player who breaks her legs and her fiance trying to, you know, win for her, you know, so, you know, she could have still that passion. But by the time he he face he faces his friend slash, you know, kind of lover, because, again, this movie is very polyamorous because you can tell that they both all love each other, but at the same time hate each other. It's weird. It's a really deep, fast Ex interesting exploration on love and the limits of love and what society places its limits on itself. It's also a great exploration about about you know hiding from what you truly are instead of embracing who you are. Like one of the main characters like acknowledges he's a piece of shit while uh, the Zendaya's character and the other dude are trying to are pieces of shit trying to hide trying to hide their true selves, which are basically human garbage or flawed human garbage, which to be fair we all are. And uh, something, but yeah, the, the way the movie explores ambition is really interesting. It it reminds me of how Scorsese explored the idea. Of, of, of obsession, but uh, in, you know, in The Aviator, even though I haven't seen that film, I hear the way it handles obsession is really authentic to it, especially people with OCD. And the way he handles failed ambition is how Sandaya lost her dream, and he's trying to make her dream come true through her husband, while, or through her one of her two boyfriends. The other boyfriend's like, no, I'm going to live my life my way, and the other guy's like, you know, as she descri as he described his words, not mine, a puppet for her to use. Which, to be fair, yes, he is. There's a lot of scenes where he's like in a Freudian pose, like you know, sitting her lap. And I'm like, the movie has a lot of psychological themes. It has to say about men, you know, in their relationship with women, especially men who want, who desire a specific woman. And also explores like uh, societal expectations with, with the billboard motif. Like, it, this movie is really tense. I plan to watch it uh, again, possibly once it hit Blu-ray or digital. But I recommend you watch this. And I give this film a strong... T oh yeah, one more thing. I want to talk about the directing. There's a lot of zooms especially chaotic zooms to communicate like the chaotic feelings of the characters which I thought was unique and there was a lot of minimal soundtrack like there is still soundtrack in the movie but it's used appropriately to convey like the the emotions of the scene or sequence which I thought was effective and uh as I especially love how it handles color especially during the end where Zendaya's face is covered in red, I'm like, okay, that's symbolic of rage or just insecurity, <laughs> which, you know, I thought was handled really well. So yeah, I, re I recommend you all to watch this movie and I plan to watch this movie once it hits Blu-ray or digital and I give it a strong 10 out of 10. Thank you. Bye.